Hi, my name is Curtis Whitson and I'm going to give you a basic video on the pipet interface. What we have here in the gray is a uh, canvas where we'll be locating all of the elements in the pipet project. Up at the top here we've got the um, drop-down menus that allow us to do our work on the pipet project. I'll just kind of move across here and uh, though you won't be able to read all of the different activities, uh, can take a look at those later at your own leisure. Those that are in black are available to use um, when you're up there on the menu and those that are gray are, are not currently functional or needed. And then at this point we have some of these uh, activities will be done on a, a very regular basis when you're working with Pipet. And so, um, let's take a look at the uh, most common elements that we'll be using in Pipet called a resource. A resource is nothing more than a, a file that's uh, located on your computer or computer system. And um, typically those files are input or output from a process or an application. Those we call processes here and we'll put some of those into, into the project here. And we connect the uh, resources to the uh, processes, uh, input data files to the programs with connectors like this. This gives the uh, calculational flow direction to be used when executing these programs. And um, we can readjust and align and move around these uh, uh, elements. We have uh, capabilities to change the layout. We can align these, for example, horizontally, uh, then move all of them up and down. We can make them align or not align. And um, another thing that we can do is uh, what you'll find is that in a project, you'll often create very many of these elements will end up being on the canvas and it'll get very cluttered. So you want to group together uh, certain groups of elements into what we call composites. And um, we might do it for these two collections. And then um, these are both feeding information to this third program and this might create a couple of files here that we'll put here and connect again as output to this application. And uh, this final processing of the third program into two resources, we might collect these two together as a, a composite. So now we've got three composites, uh, input composite, we've got a program here at the top level, and a final composite. Um, you may want to view the, um, the different levels. If you want to see what's inside the composite, you just double click, and we see the original uh, resources and processes. Now these items here are basically sockets that connect the information flow uh, from one level to another. Uh, you can also view uh, from the sidebar in a more traditional manner. You can jump to the different uh, elements by clicking on these as you like or to the top again. You'll probably find the graphical layout uh, as easy and intuitive and easy to move around with with these uh, browser-like uh, buttons as it is using the, uh, the tree structure. Now if we go into this composite and decide that we'd like to have these resources back out at the higher level, we can easily do that by selecting the two and moving the two up to the parent level. We get rid of that composite that we no longer need and we now have the process and the two resources at the top level. These are just some of the basic uh, interface features in Pipet and uh, once you start using it it'll become very intuitive and uh, so hope you watch some of the other videos that talk in more detail about these elements, the resources and processes and composites and uh, thank you for now.